All right, you're not even going to believe this, but just came across this article on robertspencer.com or .org, um, formerly called Jihad and Watch, but they uh, still cover Islam but branched out to other stuff as well. So it's interesting how the site has you know gone in an interesting direction. But they had this, this uh, article about this this insane thing. So apparently a bunch of perverts over at NASA. I mean, you're not going to believe this. I mean, so apparently these these perverts over at NASA are going to send naked pictures of humans, pornographic pictures of humans, into space in the hopes of attracting aliens. I mean, like, you can't make this kind of stuff up. But this is the kind of lunacy that these lefties are into. These social liberals. Okay, it's it's nuts. So, we're going to... And by the way, too, when it comes to the whole outer space aliens thing, I, I, I've always believed that aliens are, are just devil spirits trying to, you know, take people's attention away from the spiritual. That simple. I, I don't believe in aliens in the sense of you know, gr uh, green men from Mars. I've always said that they're just devil spirits. So there is a sense in the sense that they're not from this world, but not in, not in the way they're putting it. But seriously, so you're gonna send pornographic pictures into space to attract aliens. I mean, this is the kind of, of, of mental illness these social liberals are into. But I'm gonna read this article on uh, robertspencer.org. NASA said to send naked pictures of humans into space in hopes of attracting aliens. Leftist insanity from the institutional grooming uh, from institutional grooming of kids into, into transgenderism without parental consent and sometimes without even parental knowledge to force vaccinations while screaming, quote, my body, my choice. That's the fun part, too. These feminists are like, oh, my body, my choice. However, we're going to we, we you have to be forced to get vaccinated. I thought it was my body, my choice. Oh, no, sorry. Um, I forgot holding social liberals and feminists to their own standards is something that you can't do because they're not able to uphold it. So. Why should I bother? Uh, knows no boundaries. And science hasn't escaped leftist madness either. Yeah, it's science fallacy so called. First Timothy chapter 6 verse 20. Most rational people would believe that NASA is wasting money on, on a preposterous idea that was drummed up by a very bored leftist. More concerning is whether NASA actually believes this might, act, this might succeed. And if so, what plans they, they might have next. Well, let me just put some uh, advice for you. If you're going to use pornographic images to attract... Uh, aliens you're gonna you're gonna attract some kind of you, you definitely are going to attract extraterrestrial beings but not from aliens but from devil spirits i'll put it that way a bunch of perverts it's i mean i mean i mean you may think you're being a little i'm being a little bit harsh uh no this is just insanity so anyway, continuing on, quote, NASA has been drifting into leftist irrationalism. Its global warming agenda has now given rise to a play on climate, a play and learn climate kids program targeting, quote, or quote, targeting upper elementary age children. This is the same leftist driven global climate agenda leadership that tragically manipulated Greta Th Thunberg. Oh, yeah, she's something else to advance an extreme view, especially to youngsters that, quote, global warming, unquote, is the fault of humans, their overpopulation and capitalist greed. Leftist madness has managed to seep into the uppermost ranks of every domain. Uh, it talks about the article down below. But yeah, I mean, it's a bunch of it, oh, blaming capitalism. You know, I'm not, there are, there definitely are problems with capitalism. I'll put it that way. But, oh, you know, it's, it's, they blame everybody else but themselves, pretty much. You know, it, it's the capitalist, it's the white man, it's, it's this and that, you know, instead of just accepting responsibility for your own actions. But continuing on in the article, in the hopes of grabbing the attention of the aliens, NASA scientists are planning to send naked pictures of humans into space. A bunch of, of perverts. Uh, the scientists believe that, the, that a proper contact can be established with another life form, uh, which has tried and failed for, the, for 150 years. Yeah, because you're trying to contact devils, and if they don't want to talk to you, they're not going to talk to you. By sending a pixelated illustration of a naked woman and man waving hello in an attempt to look inviting. You can't make this stuff up. The movie, the move, movies, uh, well, Hollywood is, is perverted as well. The move is part of a project called The Beacon and the Galaxy, which aims to send a message to other space civilizations, inviting them to contact humans. Oh, so so we're going to we're gonna send perverted mess. I mean, of course, I don't believe in, in outer space. You can call me crazy all you want. I believe in a... In a geocentric model of the earth but oh you know we're gonna we're gonna not so not only are we gonna pervert our planet we're gonna pervert other planets too in their mind i'll just i'm just saying that in their mind basically because again i don't believe in the whole outer space I, I'm, I'm geocentric in terms of my belief on the earth um but it's a bunch of, of lunacy Apart from pixelated illustrations, the scientists have also included a portrayal of gravity and DNA. The scientists believe binary encoded messages is most likely to be understood by aliens. Well, I can tell you one thing, you're definitely going to have some devils laughing at you because they, they definitely will love that kind of stuff. 
I mean, you can't make this. I mean, this. I, I have no words. You just can't make this kind of lunacy up. And the fact that these people get government fund government funding. I mean, it's a bunch of. I mean, if you were to go to the founding fathers of America, and and a lot of the founding fathers were a bunch of, of Satanists themselves, Freemasons. But if you were to go to them and just say, "Hey, you know, this is what's going to happen in America, funded by the government," they'd probably just laugh at you and say, "Okay, keep on dreaming." It's the kind of thing you joke with your friends about at the bar after work. Bunch of lunacy. Okay, let me just just point something out. Okay, Lamentations chapter three verse fifty one talks about mine eye affecteth mine heart. So. What they're doing is that, because I guarantee you they know that verse too. My eye affecteth my heart. And they're trying to send these perverted pornographic images in, into outer space to attract aliens. You know, it's a bunch of, of lunacy. And I, I, I guarantee the people who are pushing this are probably pornographic porn addicts themselves. It's, it's nuts. So anyway, I wanted to point that out. Uh, just more leftist, social liberal lunacy. So don't be deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.